Hi everyone and welcome to a review for a little spoonful of chicken soup for the mother's soul. This is very short, um, 64 pages. Just all short, like it would be just a couple of paragraphs per thing. Um, not much in here. Don't know, I think I ended up giving this one five stars just because of how much I really enjoyed it. Now, I'm not a mother, so I can't really relate, but I would love to be a mother, so that's pretty much all I can say. This particular teeny tiny little book was published in 2000, so I was in high school <laughs> when this came out. Uh, there's really not much I can say. It's a lot of talk, this few, very few that are in here are people talking about their experience uh, with motherhood, of uh, taking care of these children. Uh, and they were beautiful stories and very tender experiences. There's really not a lot to say, but I still wanted to put this out. Um, it's still, it is a collection of very short stories. Um, let's see, is there one in here that's really short that I can kind of tell you? It has some quotes in here, like one of them says, there are only two lasting bequests we can hope to give our children. One of these is roots, the, others, uh, the other is wings. Written by Hotting Carter. There's, I mean, some of these, like this story here that's called The Broken Doll is literally that and this page. This is a quote from someone else. So very short, but there is a handful of them. Uh, one of the underlying things that you get is how these mothers, how much these mothers love their children, how much they cherish their relationship that they have with these children. They want this ten, these tender moments to last. All the children in this are very young, like younger than five, I want to say. There might have been one where they were older, but talks about a lot about literal childhood with the mothers. And one of the underlying things is that uh, the expression that children are a gift from God. So, you do have that as well. Very sweet, very short, <laughs> nothing else I can say. I was unsure if this is one that I was going to hold on to, but this reminded me how much I loved what I did read when they were very popular of the Chicken Soup books. So I am going to hold on to this. I absolutely love this one. This was my grandma's book, and there is a note in here that this is from my cousin. So, but I said if no one wants the books, I will take all of her books. So, I am going to keep this one. I really, I had a really good time and it was very quick. So, yeah, not much I can say. That's, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, just all people talking about some of their fondest, most tender memories with their little children. So, and how much these children they believe are a literal gift from heaven, a gift from God. So, that's all I can say about it. Let me know if you've read this one or if you do read or have read Chicken Soup, what was your favorite Chicken Soup for the Soul book? Was it the nursing soul, the grandmother soul, the mother soul, the teenager soul, preteen soul, animal lover soul, cat lover soul, dog lover soul? Those are just some that come to my mind <laughs> that I know are out there, but I know there's a lot. So yeah, let me know if you do or have read Chicken Soup. What one was your favorite? one that you have read. So yeah, talk to me in the comment section below and until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book and I'll talk to you later.